My name is Hindel Grossman, and I'm the attorney who created Grossman & Associates LTD, a family law firm in Newton, Massachusetts. For more than 30 years, I've negotiated, litigated, and arbitrated hundreds of cases on behalf of my clients. Welcome to my podcast. I hope you'll find here the kind of information you'll need to navigate through the legal process of divorce. Welcome to this week's podcast titled, Making an Informed Decision About Divorcing. My name is Hindel Grossman, and I'm a divorce attorney. When a potential client meets with me for the initial consultation, there's a certain pattern to the meeting. I'm first struck by the look of anguish. I know the client is struggling with their conflicting emotions, their financial concerns, their compromised fantasy, and their fear of the outcome. Their thought process bounces from pro to con, from sadness to anger, from desperation to a hope for relief. In thinking about divorcing, the client wants enough information to make an informed decision whether to move forward. While I'm assessing the circumstances, the client is undoubtedly assessing me. When a client calls for an initial consultation with my firm, it's to gather information for the divorce process and to determine whether I'm the kind of attorney they want. Clients often have an idea of what kind of attorney they want. As my website describes me as an iron fist in a velvet glove, I presume the clients who make appointments with me like my approach and meeting me is a necessary prerequisite to engaging my firm. I let the client settle into their chair and watch as he or she manages their feelings then ask for their agenda, which reveals to me which side of the divorce they're on. If my client is the spouse who doesn't want the divorce, they want to know about the world they are being forced to enter. Clients are eager to tell their story. I listen carefully, sifting through the information for the facts unsaid. I assume that the client has particular questions in mind. I encourage them to ask so they leave the meeting with answers. The answers help the client gain a better understanding of what it is they're facing and will begin to inform how they proceed. Typically, the questions fall into two areas, substantive and procedural. These are some questions I often hear. One, how much child support or alimony will I pay or will I receive? Two, how are child support and alimony calculated? Three, how long will the divorce take? Four, How much will the divorce cost? Five, what impact does an affair have on the divorce? Six, how can I see my kids as often as possible? Seven, does it matter that my spouse abuses alcohol or drugs? Eight, what do I tell my children? Nine, how do I tell my spouse that I know he or she is having an affair? Ten, I'm expecting an inheritance. How does that affect the divorce? 11. My spouse takes care of the finances. I don't know where anything is, what we're paying, or what we have. 12. My spouse stopped working when we had kids. What impact does that have? 13. How does mediation work? 14. Do I give up rights if I leave the house, or do I give up rights if I don't require the other spouse to leave? And 15. What can I expect during the process? I let my client ask their questions, and through my answers, I hope to provide a framework for understanding how the process and substance relate to their special case. They'll have to make many decisions along the way, and it's important to be nimble and flexible. There will be bumps in the road. I remind them that we control only our side of the case, and that there are likely two opinions on the other side of the case, the spouse and their attorney. I liken the divorce process to stepping into a dark tunnel, which is unpleasant and smelly, but that reorganizing lives through a divorce is a difficult transition for both sides. I try to get a sense of what's motivating the divorce and the personalities of both spouses and the attorney on the other side. Before the meeting ends, I give them three lessons I've learned as a divorce attorney. The first lesson is that goodwill doesn't breed goodwill. If one person wants to be generous, not to necessarily expect generosity in return during the divorce. The second lesson I learned is that the strongest form of negotiation is refusing to negotiate. 
It's impossible to resolve or settle a case if one side refuses to negotiate. That means your only alternative is to seek input from a judge. And the third lesson is don't rush the divorce. Settle into each new phase before making permanent decisions. The result will be better. It's important to have a good rapport with your divorce attorney. You'll spend time and funds on this relationship to transition you to your new life. It's important for your attorney to understand your goals and to consult with you frequently to ensure your interests and financial limits are respected. My advice is to get the most out of your initial consultation with your attorney, to ask the questions that matter most to you so that you can be well informed about the practical implications and the likely process as you begin this difficult journey. If you'd like more information about the topics covered in our podcast, please contact us at Grossman & Associates. You'll find a competent and experienced team of compassionate, responsive, and innovative legal professionals. Email me at hindel at grossmanltd.com. My first name is spelled H-I-N-D-E-L-L. Or call us at 617-969-0069. Thank you for listening.